Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, on Friday, on my previous video, I left with you three ICD-9-CM questions, diagnoses questions, that I asked that you work with me to convert to ICD-10. So let's look at those three questions. I've had good feedback, good email responses, some in the comments below, others really just emailed me and said, help me out, Coach. Look at these answers. What do you think? So let's look at these individual questions and figure out what the ICD-10 code should be. Let me minimize my box. Move me down to a corner. And let's look at each one of these questions. All right, the first one says, patient is admitted with fever and severe headache. Diagnostic workup revealed viral meningitis. So in those first two sentences alone, patient is admitted with fever and severe headache. When you have a sign or a symptom that leads to a definitive diagnosis, viral meningitis, then we only code the definitive diagnosis. This patient had fever and headache due to viral meningitis. It would be double coding to code both fever and headache and viral meningitis when ultimately the fever and headache are due to the viral meningitis. So just code the viral meningitis. And in addition to that, the patient also has asthma with acute exacerbation and hypertension. And they put this statement right here, both of which are treated because if these comorbidities aren't treated, don't code them. But in this case, the comorbidities, which this patient also has, is asthma and hypertension, were treated Therefore, we code them. So our first diagnosis that we need to code is the viral meningitis. So if you go to main term meningitis, subterm viral, you end up with code A87.9. So let me put this down here in our ICD-10, A87.9. And they stated that both the asthma with acute exacerbation, so when you go to main term asthma, and then you go to acute with exacerbation, you get J45.901. And the hypertension, if you look at main term hypertension, you get I10. So to appropriately code this scenario, patient admitted with fever and severe headache, diagnostic work revealed viral meningitis, patient also has asthma and acute exacerbation with acute exacerbation and hypertension, you would use A87.9, J45901, and I10. Hope you guys did well on that one. Let's look at number two. A female patient, 68 years old, was admitted with type 2 diabetes mellitus with a diabetic ulcer of the left heel. So our first diagnosis is type 2 diabetes, but this patient also has a diabetic ulcer. So when there is a condition that is in diabetes, under main term diabetes, go down to ulcer. And so if you grab that first code, diabetic, their diabetes type two, and it's an ulcer, then our first code is E11.622 for the diabetic. We are identifying diabetes with ulcer. And then when you use that code, it will tell you the keys, I call them keys, in your tabular book will tell you use an additional code to identify the type of ulcer. And this is a left heel ulcer. So in order to identify that ulcer, it's L97.429. That identifies the left heel ulcer. So we identify the diabetes with ulcer, type two diabetes mellitus with diabetic ulcer. And then the additional code to identify the ulcer L97.429. And then the third question, patient was found at home in a hypoglycemic coma. The patient had never been diagnosed as being diabetic. Now here, this one was a tricky question because first thing most people will do is go to diabetes because they see hypoglycemia. Then they automatically assume, oh, hypoglycemia, they're diabetic. Well, they're saying this patient has never been diagnosed as being diabetic. So diabetes has nothing to do with this condition. 
So if you go to main term in your alphabetic index of ICD-10-CM, hypoglycemia, and you go down to subterm coma, your ICD-10 code for this case is E15. That's it. They don't have diabetes. They're just, their sugar levels went low. When I shop too much and haven't had a chance to eat, my sugar level goes low is what I always say, and I need to stop and get something to eat. This patient was found at home in a hypoglycemic coma. So this code E15 identifies that condition. All right, guys, those are the answer to these three questions. Now, what do you think? Were you able to code these ICD-10 diagnoses? Give me some feedback in the comments below and let me know. My next video, I'll have three more um, examples for you to help me code. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.